To start this project, you're going to need a pool noodle. Okay, to start this project, we're going to be using some white athletic tape. I'm going to attach it to the bottom here, and then I'm gonna pull up straight, and I'm gonna try to get this as straight as I can, but you can easily adjust it later. It's the great thing about athletic tape. And we're just gonna pull it up towards the top here, almost all the way, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the extra. Now, if you wanna go all the way to the top, you can, but for what we're gonna do for this next step after this, you won't need it to go all the way to the top. And then we're just gonna get it on here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this a few more times around the noodle. So just simply pulling the tape, giving it you know, the space so it looks kind of similar where I've got the spacing about as good as I can get it between the two. Now that the stripes are on, I'm gonna use some blue duct tape and I'm gonna peel it off here. And duct tape is a little hard to work with sometimes, but you could pick a different kind of tape if you like. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start here and I'm gonna go around the pool noodle, covering up the tape in a circle like so. Next, what I've got here are some star stickers. So I'm just gonna add the star stickers. And you can do this however you want. You can make them random, you can make a design, kind of however you want to do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these stickers on in, I like kind of the random format, so I'll go ahead and do that. This next piece I ordered from Amazon, and this will be the next step in our process. These are LED firework lights and I'm gonna pull them out of the box here. And they come independently like so. So what I need to do now is they come with a remote and I'm gonna be placing some batteries inside here and then I'm gonna be spacing these out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. You are gonna be utilizing this hole right in here and ultimately what we're gonna be doing is placing this right into the top of the pool noodle. However, you have this battery pack, so you can either cut a hole large enough for this to fit in first. The difficulty in that is you've got a cord here, so you do need to be careful on when you're pulling it back out to change the batteries, how you want to deal with that because you don't wanna end up pulling it apart and it doesn't work. So the other option would be to attach it to the back side where nobody will see it and then attach this in here so that it's easy to remove and you can still change the batteries easily. So you have those two options and then we need to move on to the next step. What I've decided to do is take the battery pack apart. I'm gonna place it up here on the top and then I'm just gonna trace around and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a craft knife that I bought at the dollar store. It's just something I use for crafts. And I'm gonna dig down deep and cut this circle out so that I can fit the battery pack inside. So I will go ahead and continue cutting this out and then we'll slide that battery pack in here. Now what I've got here is a dollar store broom and I'm just going to Remove the broom piece. You can always use this later for a hand broom or turn it into a different DIY, but I will just be using the broom handle for this next step. On the other side of the broom, it's got this little top and I just need to pull that off because all I really need here is this pole. Now it's time to set them up outside. I'm gonna start with the rubber mallet and I'm gonna pound the broom handle into the ground so it's nice and sturdy. Next, I slide the pool noodle right on to that broom handle. And lastly, I take the battery pack and I slide it right in there as well. Now I'll just go ahead and space out these wires and we're all set. So I'll give you a quick look at it now and then I'll show you it this evening. And I hope this inspires you to make some firecrackers of your own. Again, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations. Thanks for watching Home Talk, and I'll see you next time.
Uh-oh, I'm out of paper towels. But I have the perfect idea what to do with these. And I picked up a variety of papers that are, they're really more like cardstock for scrapbooking. I'm gonna take and put a bead of hot glue right down the edge, and you do not have to use hot glue. There's all kinds of glue, tape, whatever you could use for this, but I'm going to do it all the way up at the top there, and I'm gonna put this gently down and then wrap it around my cardboard tube. This one's gonna be easy to trim because I have nice straight lines. Like I said, you can use tape, you can use glue. If you have kids helping you do this, you might not wanna go with the hot glue. And then roll this onto it so that it sticks. The next step with our paper towel tube um, is to pick another paper, and I'm going to pick this blue sparkly cardstock that I have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a solo cup and trace a circle. So if you're working with a normal paper towel roll, this is really the size that you will want. There's my, my blue circle. I'm going to cut halfway in, just a straight and roll it to whatever I want, like, when I've decided on that, same thing. I'm just gonna take some hot glue, holding that where it is, so I don't lose track of where I had it. And just glue that down. And then all you have to do is take the top of your little firecracker here and put a little bead of hot glue right on the top edge. If you can get it to stay on the top edge and not run down the inside, which that's okay. You'd rather it run down the inside than the outside. And then just pop your little cap right on there. So notice the one um, that I had, this was actually contact paper. I left the length of the tube and I'll show you why as we progress. And I've made two of these, one with a gold cap and one with a blue glittery cap. So here are my little firecrackers, rockets, whatever you want to call them, ready to go. I bought a package of wooden dowels and I'm just going to take a wooden dowel and the seam side, I'm not going to put it on the outside, I'm going to put it on the inside. I'm going to put my hot glue right down about half of my dowel and then I'm going to put it inside and hold it and then I will be able to stick this right into my dry floral foam. 